Hi everybody, it's Danielle with Inspire Me to DIY. I have a blog that is home decor, DIY, decorating, um, things that you can do yourself, and also crafts. Today is a craft video, and I'm going to show you how to make the cutest table runner out of a button table runner. We're not going to actually make the table runner, but we're going to decorate this baby. I got at Hobby Lobby. It's reversible, so super cute. It's good for spring. It's good for Easter. And since Easter is tomorrow, you can make this thing and wow all your friends tomorrow. I'm telling you, it's that easy. I bought this. It was $14.99 and 40% off, so $9, sort of. Not bad. It is a 72-inch one, so it um, is not your extra, extra long one. So, yep. An extra long table like I do, you kind of need to buy two and overlap them in the center. But we're just going to decorate the one today. I got this, um, what was it, a couple weeks ago. I just love the colors because it's spring and Easter. Let's see if I can get all the packaging, huh? That would be good. All right. Why well, packaging seems pretty good? I am going to make this to match the bunny pillows we did last week. If you didn't see that, you can go on my Facebook page and check out that video. Super cute bunnies. Let me see if I can find. These were, or this was the bunny that I used. I didn't see that too well. But um, I put two of them facing each other on a pillow and did a little pom-pom for a tail. Uh, there's some really cute polka dot fabric, and we're going to use that fabric today on top of our plaid, and I know it sounds like it would be like, but it's really not too busy. I think it would be way more busy if you used it on this side. This bunny was way too big for this project, so I had to shrink him down 75% from the original size, which gave me this little bunny. So he's pretty cute, but he looks kind of lonesome all by himself. So I also downloaded a standing or more upright bunny. See? But again, I had to shrink him down 75% to where I got this little dude. So this is this is how my bunnies are going to look. And I've already picked out my fabric for one side because I want to do each end. So when it's on your table or maybe draped down the sides, you've got little bunnies on each end, which I think looks so cute. I don't think you'd be able to wash this after you put those pom-poms on. I don't know, but I've never, um, I've always just spot cleaned my table runners. So hopefully, you know, great aunt so-and-so doesn't come and spill wine all over your table runner because then you got problems. Let's, I'm going to kind of stretch this thing out. I, I've got way more table runner than I have table right now. And it's gonna be kind of backwards to you because I'm doing it facing me. You know what, let's do it facing you, but let's do it, it'll have to be like whoo, this way. That's good. And the rest of it will just have to be in my lap. Um, I'm going to take the tag off that says Hobby Lobby because you don't want that hanging out. And I'm going to position my bunnies on here. Now I cut, I cut two fabrics already. This one and this one. Oh my gosh, super cute. Let's see. See, that doesn't look too bad on there, especially with the little pom-pom tails. And I got... Uh, on my pillow, I made my pom-poms, but I got these at the Dollar Quarter Tree. That's what we're calling it now. Which, there's 18 of them for a dollar a quarter, and they're white, and I think, oh my God, that's so cute. Isn't that sweet? This is how easy this thing is. You're going to fabric glue these on with the Lean's Fabric Fusion. This is what I like to use. It works perfect. And then we need to hot glue these on. And at the Dollar Quarter Tree, I also got these cute ribbons. So they have so much stuff up. And this close to Easter, Easter's tomorrow. But they still have all that stuff up. And 
because I got this stuff yesterday. And the, not the fabric, but the pom-poms and the ribbon. And this is what I want to do with the ribbon. Oh, maybe you could make one in the hair and one as a bow tie. So cute. I don't know if I want my yellow and green together though, because I also have two other fabrics that I have not cut out yet to the same polka dot, but different color. I have this blue and I have the pink. And I think I already um, drew out, <laughs> drew out my bunny on there. So I'm gonna cut these out and put all four bunnies together and see who goes best with who. Let me get this out of the way. I rearranged all my furniture yesterday. I like to do that periodically just for um, different seasons and it just, it kind of makes everything look new again. So I like to do that. But with this layout in my living room, it's kind of hard with my my dog who's sitting over there, my DOG, because now he's got a full shot of the front window, which would make him B-A-R-K a lot. So he's in the kitchen right now, sleeping, hopefully. So that's why I don't have the pooch out here. I am gonna cut this out with my fabric cutting scissors. I cut the bunnies out of my paper with my paper cutting scissors. And these do not work on fabric. It just kind of gums it to death. Even though these are super cheap scissors, I think I got two pairs of each for like under $10. So super cheap, but depending on what you use them on is what they wind up being till they're dead. So you do not use your paper cutting scissors on your fabric. All right, and I'm just gonna loosely cut around here just dawned on me that I do not have my my cheater glasses, but we'll do the best we can. <laughs> There's always one thing I forget, you know? I'm gonna put this, this is so cute. I got this set of dishes with the little bunnies and polka dots on it. That is so cute together. I just now realized that. It's got some Easter candy in there. Although it's getting the, that level's getting lower and lower, and I can't blame it on my husband because I think it's me. It's like every time I go past the candy dish, it's like, oh, uh, sure, why not? When I buy fabric, I got five of these colors, orange, green, yellow, pink, and blue. And it was just a little um, section of it I got for $5 for all five of them. Perfect. But I like to really conserve my fabric so over in this little corner where I had some is where I put a bunny. I don't want to put them in the middle or somewhere else that will eat up a lot of my fabric. So I'm just going to cut around him so I can get the big pieces out of the way. I'm so excited about Easter. We have um, three couples coming for dinner and We'll probably play a couple of games, um, sit and talk. I mean, I just really love it. It's so nice that we're all able to get together again. You know, the last couple of Easter's has been kind of hard because you weren't allowed, you know, to get together in big groups. And I don't know if four couples, eight people are big groups, but kind of bigger than you normally would get together with. Now, scraps like this, I don't I don't keep. Otherwise, I would have a whole house full. And there's not really anything I can do with something that small that I know of. I'm sure if I put my mind to it, I can find something. Okay. I don't know what the weather is like there, but here it's supposed to be 90 today. And sunny and um, no humidity. So it's going to be glorious. I'm going to love it. We'll probably hang outside for most of the day. And we were talking about maybe going to the beach and watching the sunset tonight. 
The beach is only three miles from our house, which I still get giddy when I think of that. I'm so excited to live here. My husband and I have lived here now, um, it'll be seven years in August. And it, I don't know, we've been here long enough that it just feels, totally feels like home. Okay, let's see. I got one little string that doesn't wanna, oh, cute. What is it about pink? I just, look at my fingernails. I just love it. Doesn't go great with my, my red hair. It kind of turns my hair orange, but I do love it. So maybe if I wear pink away from my hair, like my pink rain boots that I got. I'm a real nut for anything monogrammed. My pink rain boots are monogrammed. I have a couple of shirts. I have shoes. Anything I can get a monogram on, I'm, I'm all for it. I love how these scissors cut. They're just super for fabric. And to be as cheap as they are. Don't get me wrong, I have a couple of real expensive sewing scissors for fabric. I did not buy them, they were a gift, but they're wonderful, but you have to send them in to be sharpened. And let me tell you, that is not cheap, not cheap at all. So it's kind of nice to have um, cheap scissors, inexpensive scissors, let's say that. I am getting ready for Mother's Day. I know it's a month away, but when you're a crafter, you gotta think ahead. What can I make for all the moms out there that, you know, no matter what kind of mom you are, you would love it. So that's where my brain is lately on being the cool mom. I wanna be the cool mom. <laughs> Okay, so here's my bonnies. Let's see. What colors do you think would go good together? I like the green and yellow, but I don't like the blue and pink together. Oops, I gotta fix that. Because to me, it just looks like um, boy and girl, you know, like nursery stuff. So I kind of want to mix them up a little bit. And I'm thinking blue and yellow, and pink and green. Because red and green are opposite each other on the color wheel, which makes some complementary colors. Same, um, yellow is more purple, purple and yellow on the opposite sides, but I think these match up a little bit better. I like them, I even on uh, camera, I like them. So that's, that's what we're going with. So let's get all of our stuff out the way and get our, Move these over, get our table runner out, and line them up how you want. I don't measure. I know a lot of people, they get their little tape measure out, and, you know, they measure from side to side to make sure what, that it's absolutely perfectly aligned. But I have found that to not always look the best. If I eyeball it and my eyes like it better, that's kind of something I would rather have. I have to bring them in a little because I need room for my pom-poms. Aw, super cute. All right, I am going to bring him down a little bit and bring him down, him, her, whoever. All right. Yeah, I like that. What do you guys think? I think it's lined up pretty good. All right, so I don't want to take them off and glue them and then try to set them back down because I won't get that right. So I'm going to flip halfway like this and get my glue out. I should have done that earlier. The cap before it rolls away. And I'm going to glue around the edge. This is kind of runny, so you have to be careful. 
And I am going to, well, maybe it's runny. Come on. <laughs> there we go. It's like a gel. Sometimes it seems a little runnier than most. And I'm going to do like a half away. And I'm, I'm not all the way to the edge because I don't want it to ooze out. All right. We're going to flip him back down. Come on. Like that. All right. Some of that glue oozed through the top, but that's okay because it dries clear. All right. Get around his head. You might hear some noise out there. Our tree guy is here. And like every six months, we have to have palm trees trimmed. I love palm trees, but that is kind of where we're at when you have palm trees. They gotta be trimmed or they make a huge mess all over the place. Oh, he's done. He's on there. He looks so cute. All right, let's do the little pink guy. Girl, guy. I don't know. My husband has a pink t-shirt. It, it says Mother's Day on it. He got it when he sang at, um, he sings the national anthem for different sporting events. So he sang the national anthem at the um, Marauders game, which is a farm team for, oh geez, I can't remember. There's my tree guy. Uh, farm team for, I think, the Pirates. So he sang for them, and that day they were giving out free t-shirts because it was Mother's Day. And it says Mother's Day on it, but it's pink, and he wears it quite often. Make sure I got glue. Yep, I do. All right, so here we are. Bring him on camera here a little bit. Oh, ugh. what do you think? So cute. Now, the pom-poms, I don't know if I would want to try with the fabric glue. I mean, I'm sure it would work, but you'd have to sit here and hold them for forever and a day. So I'm going to hot glue, and I already have my glue gun ready to go. I'm just going to put a blob there and sticker on. And I'm going to put my little finger things on because I do have a tendency to fry myself every single time I use my glue gun. All right. <laughs> you cannot get any cuter than this. Look at that. Would that not make a great gift? A hostess gift? At $9 for this, $5 for the fabric. And a dollar and a quarter for the pom poms. You cannot go wrong. Let's do the other side. Bring him down and him over. I don't know how I'm going to get both ends of this on camera, but we're going to try. Okay. I was originally thinking maybe we could just do them like this, but then it just kind of looks like they're mad at each other. <laughs> I don't want my, my bunnies mad at each other. Uh, bring this one in a little bit so they have room for their tails. And I have um, fringe uh, strings hanging that I'm going to trim a little bit. But once you get it glued on, if you want to fringe around the edges, that would be kind of cute, actually. So let's flip her this way. For our our guest tomorrow, I have not bought Easter baskets in a long time because my kids are all grown and my grandkids do not live anywhere near us. So it's kind of hard to send a Easter basket through the mail. Chocolate doesn't tend to hold up. So I made, oops, 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 no, 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 get in there. I made Easter baskets for our group 
that's coming tomorrow. I had so much fun. I went to the Dollar Tree, Dollar Quarter Tree, whatever you want to call it. I think they should change their name. <laughs> and bought all sorts of candies and toys and just fun things that adults just don't get to play with anymore. All right. Well, he kind of got moved over a little bit. Okay. Well, maybe they'll be kissing. They'll be kissing cousins. Now, let's flip this around. Oh, you know what? Oh, my goodness. I almost didn't cut his little legs out. It's just a blob. Good thing I looked at that. I must have got to talking. I have a tendency to do that. I get to talking, and then I forget what I'm doing. All right. Oh, come on. There, now he's got feet. What was I thinking? Okay. I gotta bring them in a little bit more. Maybe they're having a very secretive conversation. Let's go with that. They're telling secrets. Yeah, it's been a busy week for sure, doing all of the um, the Easter stuff and decorating my table for my tablescape. If you notice, I'm using the same table. So I decorate it, I take pictures, I tear it down, I do this, I decorate it again. So, but you know, um, I think I might do it even a little bit different. I think being able to... Um, redo will let me fine tune it a little better. I love the little Easter or the little bird's nests I made. A friend of mine gave me these little um, styrofoam eggs, but they were painted like pastel colors and they had gold flecks through them, real shiny gold flecks. Let's see if I can pull one. And I painted them Robin egg blue and put little brown specks on them. I don't know if it'll focus in, but then I got these little nests at Hobby Lobby and they came, I think three of them for a couple dollars. So this is going to be at everybody's play setting. I think will be super cute, super cute. Okay, so here's these little guys. Let's put their tails on. Get them out of the container here. glue and I'm using quite a bit of glue just really want to make sure they stick well I like it okay let's get this out of the way I'm gonna put and I forgot to do it on the other side but I'll have to I have to make some more I'm gonna put my little bows that I made out of um, the ribbon I got at Hobby Lobby. I'm also going to hot glue those on. Just a little bit of glue. So glad I got these finger things. And since these guys are so close together, I'm going to put one, one in her, her hair and another one is a bow tie. Now let's take these off so I can make two more bows. I try my best to um, conserve as many craft products as I can, so I don't want to have a lot of waste when I make these bows. I'm going to try to get it as close to the end as I can. Oh my goodness, he's got such a long extension ladder. I have really tall pine. pine palm trees and this time of year they drop a lot of seeds and they look like grapes hanging down but they make such a mess and they're orange and then they stain everything so you kind of have to trim them okay so this this is perfect and I do a little trim on the ends and all I wasted 
was that little bit. So I try really best, really best, really hard, try my best to not waste as much as possible. And I think, uh, I think I like that end better. So that's a purple one. Let me do a pink for the other two bunnies. I am not usually very good with bows, uh, especially those fancy ones at Christmas. I'm thinking about buying one of those bow maker things, but I'm horrible. I have, oh, I'm not so good at this either. I, I have seen so many videos on how to make a bow, and I thought, wow, geez, that's not hard. I can do that. I guess everybody has that thing they just can't do. And for me, it's bows and macrame. I love macrame. I'm not good at macrame. But I love it. Okay, and again, this is all I wasted. Cute little bow. Like, you know what? His loops are a little big. Let me see if I make it smaller. <laughs> there it is. All right, let's flip it over and get these other guys ribbons. Well, I don't really want to put the pink on the pink. Although it is kind of cute, but I like the purple better. And I'll put the pink on the green. Yeah, kind of do it opposite of how I did it on the other side. All right. Good little bow tie there. I'll tell you, these are a saver. They were given to me by a friend who got them at the Dollar Quarter Tree. What do you think? Here's the two ends. Let's see if I can get them up there. Two ends of my table runner. So cute. Oh my goodness. I'm going to put these on my kitchen table and take pictures for you later. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you like making things and you like decorating your home, I am your girl because that is the love of my life other than my husband is I love to decorate my home, my husband and my children, I should say, and my grandbabies. So if you like this, hit the little follow at the top and you can see all my videos. I'm also on YouTube and Instagram under Inspire Me to DIY. It has been a great day to talk to you. I'm going to let you go because my tree guy is about to get real loud. So have a great day. Have a happy Easter tomorrow and I'll see you next Saturday. Thank you. Bye.